Hello friends, how you doing today? Today I'm gonna be talking about how to deal with doctors successfully, how to get most out of the experience. However, point minus one, even before I'm gonna begin, you have to see your primary care physician from time to time, at least a couple times a year for checkups. Because if you don't, you may miss on opportunities to live better life. It, they, it's not necessarily that they're gonna extend your life, but they definitely can help you live better life, higher quality life. Now, point number zero, a prerequisite, you have to get educated. You have to read a little about your condition from reliable sources. And that allows you to point number one, advocate for yourself. For example, I used to get a terrible medication, atenolol. It was bad. It was treating my high blood pressure, but it was also giving me bradycardia. And it took me half a year of talking to, I have actually three different primary care physicians and uh, also cardiologist. And after half a year of uh, asking them to change my medication, they did. And uh, I got uh, amlodopine or amlodopine. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but it's much better. It does not give me bradycardia anymore. So advocate for yourself. It's also number point number two, you know, to manage your expectations and not to listen to people who tell you everything gonna be great. For example, I used to weigh 280 pounds and right now I weigh only 215 or less. I haven't, you know, I haven't hit the scale over the last couple days. So I hope I lost a couple more pounds. However, you know, some people were telling me that, uh, you know, as soon as you lose weight, you're not gonna need your blood pressure medication. And, uh, you know, while you have to manage your expectations, you have to also be hopeful. So my hope is that when I'm gonna lose all the weight and I'm gonna weigh 200 pounds, I'm six feet and a half an inch, and I'm a lar large frame male, so 200 pounds would be appropriate for me. Uh, I believe that when I'm gonna lose all the weight, my blood pressure medication is gonna get decreased by 50%. I'm just gonna take less medication, but I'm still gonna have to take medication. In addition, when you do remove primary cause of your condition, such in, in my case, high blood pressure, the doctors may go deeper with diagnosis and help you even better. Now, number three, the main thing that doctors fail to tell you and they should is that certain medications, certain vitamins, such as vitamin D, and some other ones, you should research yourself, have to be taken with fat. Instead of telling you that, they very often just keep you prescribing higher and higher amounts of vitamin D, which can be dangerous. Because what if, accidentally, you will swallow that vitamin, that high dosage vitamin, with fat? Then you're gonna get overdosed with the vitamin and there gonna be consequences and it's not gonna be pleasant. Now, extraordinary, I learned this from uh, Timothy Ferris, uh, who wrote the book, The 4-Hour Body. And he said that extraordinary aims, extraordinary goals, you know, require extraordinary means. So you can experiment with your body too. In the case you cannot fall asleep, do not eat any added sugar throughout the day. Then three hours before, you are supposed to fall asleep, eat all the maximum amount, let's say for a male, 36 grams of added sugar. And then just before you go to bed, you're gonna start crashing because that sugar gonna, your sugar level is gonna go down and it's gonna let, help you fall asleep. It's crazy, but it can work. And uh, if you liked, please vote up and uh, subscribe. And thank you, and see you next time.